have the video exaggerating food issues going to a different program and horrible storms. So this was, I think she put this out yesterday and uh, just a warning. <laughs> this one, it does boil my blood and I do rage quite a lot. Um, not going to lie. It's her talking shit again and uh, peak Amberlynn manipulation Lynn is here so I'm just warning you uh, you may feel the urge to rage as well well let's get into it and see what's going on hello welcome to my new vlog we're starting off with the saga from my last video um, the new balances didn't fit so I was searching for a pair of shoes online torrid.com <laughs> Of course, Torrid.com. So I found these shoes. These are the Active Mesh Sneaker and they are wide width and they have my size. So I'm trying to decide if I should do I heard on, um, <clears throat> I was watching Apathetic Facts' video before <clears throat> on, uh, on on this video, Anne Boleyn's latest video. Um, and she mentioned something about how there's a rumour going around that the other shoes, the New Balance, the black ones, they were actually for Feline. Um, and Anne Boleyn had to say that they were for her so she could include them in the video and write them off. So I, I've i no doubt they're... Because if you've got wide feet, you buy shoes that are wide, that have a wide fit in. It doesn't make sense to buy them that aren't. I mean, you've either got wide feet or you haven't. So I don't believe all this. Oh, I just bought the wrong shoes. And sometimes I fit in them and sometimes I don't. That's called bollocks. Do a nine or nine and a half. I think I'm going to go with a nine and a half. I really like these. So I'm going to get these. Okay, you guys. So I just finished. It ends with us. <sighs> And I do not understand why it's controversial. I can't figure it out. So there's going to be some spoiler alerts, okay? Spoiler alerts. Nobody's so reading spoiler that. Spoiler alert. Book. Spoilers. <laughs> She's getting abused by her husband and she divorces oh, him. Oh, no. Obviously, I'm sorry, she but... Obviously, uh, she's co-parent. Me very no. emotional. And honest, like, the book was good. I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm left a little confused, I guess. Hello, so it's been some hours yeah, since whatever. we spoke. Um, I had a email from my dietitian. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I said how she's going to be talking to the surgeon one-on-one -on -one kind of about me as a patient. And then she was going to call me and let me know what, like, they think the next step of action should be. I don't know, I'm kind of like confused by it, but I actually got an email from her saying that um, the meeting between them was canceled because the weather here is really bad. Um, we have tornado warnings. The wind is the worst I've ever seen, like in my actual life. And in your life, in your actual life. In and out here. And I have a security camera that um, has like a community around it and literally every like I would say 30 seconds I'm getting a notification saying how a tree has fallen people's power is out so it's a very yeah, serious well, time you know what? <laughs> where I live it's, right now it's just it's the world Amberlynn there are storms there are things that happen and it's just the world like it, you don't have to act so shocked by everything. It's like the whole city is falling. And I think it's like panning out through the whole state, plus the states around me. So everyone at the weight loss clinic that I go to, I think is like being sent home because it's really scary weather right now. My hair is so frizzy. <laughs> I washed it last night. This is what happens. It's so gross. Like after I brush it, it, like I wash it, I let it dry, I put it in a bun, and then brush it, and it just gets 
so frizzy Ugh. right now i'm just like grateful that i have power because a lot of people are losing power and getting hurt right now and it's just very scary so i think i'm actually gonna not even continue vlogging today just in case the power goes out in total i want to keep my because i'm uh filming for my phone i want to keep my phone um fully charged so next day and i'm about to just do a little bit of light makeup um so yeah, the weather last night, I'm worried about a lot of the people, especially in my city. Um, it was bad. Um, like, obviously nothing bad happened to me and Feline, but a lot happened in my city. Like, it, <laughs> like that's nervous laughter because I was so scared last night. We actually had to bring in um, everything from our porch. I just, I just find this woman insufferable. I, I've got to be honest. Like, I'm not saying that storms aren't scary and that you know things don't happen. And but it's just she acts so brand new about everything, and it just, it's, it's tiring when you've watched her for so long. You know, she's like, oh my god, I'm so scared for everyone. And we had to bring our, our patio furniture in. Oh, okay. I mean, that's amazing. But does it really need to be on here? No, it doesn't. Because everywhere around me, everyone's everything was just flying everywhere. It was really scary. And a lot of people um, got hurt. And trees fell on people and cars and homes. It was very scary. Our power did flicker like a lot, but gratefully so, um, we didn't actually lose power. Um, very. And just another note: is she uh, is she getting ready to do a makeup to just shuffle around her apartment? Because that's another. I mean, this is just a way. Like, what a waste of time. We very lucky in that regard because most of where i live lost power it was just hard to fall asleep last night. sorry but that is giving me serious vibes to when she had that sun cream do you remember like back in the becky days when they lived with eric and ricky and she had that i think it was like sunscreen and she just put it on it the way she put it on her face was hilarious last night because all i could think about is like the people like affected because like literally just in oklahoma um i don't know like a week ago my mom lost power for three days three days because the weather was so bad it's just that's a lot of foundation it's just scary and it's just crazy because like all of the little tiny problems that people are like always blowing up to like something bigger than like what it needs to be <laughs> like just, what there's such bigger issues in the world so i started another book i know uh, a lot of you don't like reading stuff but i do want to like sprinkle reading material throughout my blogs um i started off the deep end by lucinda B Nobody cares about your fake fucking books. You don't read them. God damn it. She does, I swear she does this to piss people off. Very. <clears throat> and so far, so good. I am on page 15. I literally just started it this morning because I like woke up just a little bit ago. It's 9.36 a.m. So far, I've just showered and uh, read a little bit because it puts me in like a good little headspace, you know? So so today is Saturday. So regarding my dietitian talking to my surgeon, um, that's probably not going to happen until next week. The eyebrows. So I'm not going to get any more. Tell me that I should like see if I can get weight loss surgery with a different program because some of you were like, Actually, I'm not going to say some of you. A lot of you <laughs> are in my DMs um, telling me that this is, like, the strangest thing they've ever heard because, like, 
weight loss surgery is supposed to help um, with binge eating. And a friend of mine, if you're watching, hi, um, said something that really, I was like, oh, wow, that makes a lot of sense. She said it feels like or seems like having me wait a whole year is like telling a drug addict, I want you to be a whole year sober before you go into rehab, you know? Uh, right. I this is where this is what this is what really riles me up i watched apathetic vax's video and i it was again why i wanted to do these videos because it just pisses me off so number one i called this out the other day i said that she would she would shop for another program number two ain't nobody in your dms telling you that this is so fucking weird that you have to wait a whole year because it isn't fucking weird that you have to wait a whole year. It's perfectly normal. And anybody with half a brain or even half a brain cell can understand why. There is nobody in her DMs telling her that this is unusual. This is, again, <laughs> textbook Anne Boleyn Reed manipulation she's not getting what she wants so she's going to look for something else now she could say that she could come on here and i'd actually i'd actually prefer her to just say that you know she could come on here and go look no i'm not happy to wait a year i'm gonna look at a different program she, you know there's nothing stopping her from doing that but she won't do that she can't do that so she comes up with these stupid fucking excuses about people messaging her saying that it's so strange that she has to wait a year when it isn't strange at all. So, you know, and this is what this is why I call her a vile, toxic individual, because she's, you know, if any of you have ever met people in your life like this, uh, I know I sure have. Who, who just who just try and manipulate every single thing every single thing and and they're, they're hell to be around you can't you can't they're just awful people <coughs> excuse me um and this one here th this thing here she even tries to manipulate professionals you know and i'm sure it works <laughs> i'm sure it works a lot um but I think maybe she's hit a brick wall with this one and she can't try and her usual ways of manipulation aren't working. So she's going to look for another program. And you bet you she will change her diagnosis. She will change her, uh, her disorders uh, to get what she wants. And I, it boils my blood, folks. It really does. I can't stand it. It's, it's, a, it's just, ugh. Gives you that icky feeling and it pisses me off oh like that was a really good metaphor and i was like yeah and and sorry no it isn't a really good metaphor no it isn't a really good metaphor at all you know being a drug addict is is, is different than than what your your current situation you're wanting to you're wanting weight loss surgery now i don't claim to be you know some sort of expert but my understanding of that is that they significantly reduce the size of your stomach now if you've got binge eating disorder and, and i know she can't make up a bloody mind whether she's got it or not that's really dangerous thing to do especially with somebody with her track record because she can't fucking stay on a diet for more than so no it, it, it isn't the same thing a, a, a person who is addicted to drugs uh you know that the reason they're going into rehab is to save their life is to prevent them from consuming that drug uh and and t telling somebody with a i don't know let's say pick a heroin addiction well you can't go into rehab until you've done a year clean you know that that's just backwards it doesn't make sense but telling somebody who you know clearly has well i don't know what the fuck she has i think she's a lazy entitled vile individual okay but 
let's go with her that she's been because she's been telling us all this for years and years that she's got binge eating disorder somebody who has binge eating disorder apparently has been diagnosed with binge eating disorder to give them the weight loss surgery straight away is it's just stupid because it's it's guaranteeing her f failure she has to prove herself that she can do this and then you know and it's like and again you know and i am i am i am raging on this because it really pisses me off it, it's it's ambulance it's like uh, no i don't want to do that i'm going to throw my toys out the plan and i'm going to look somewhere else and i'm going to get it you know and do you know what i hope somebody does give her this weight loss surgery when she wants it and her fucking stomach explodes and then who's she gonna blame stupid woman it kind of does feel that way <laughs> like i i don't binge in the definition that they say like three <sighs> times the amount of food you normally eat like i've never done that and people are coming out of the woodwork saying like how binging is like you get so desperate you eat the condiments in your home what i've never what done that. people are um, what i only ever like what people are coming out of the woodwork saying this you're the one that's been telling your audience that this is what you've got you know i will link apathetic facts video below go check it out the amount of times that she says i've got binge eating disorder you can't go on a diet with somebody with binge eating disorder because you can't restrict someone with binge eating disorder i've been diagnosed with binge eating disorder and becky's like yes i've seen this i've seen it nodding fucking dog you know so d so don't so don't come on here now acting brand new trying to tell your audience i don't have binge eating disorder you know it's a it, does she really think her audience is as is is as stupid as she is because i'm not you know i've got more brain cells than that and i am not stupid and i don't appreciate being spoken to like this as if i'm fucking stupid <clears throat> want to eat like junk um and that's why i feel like i mean this is obviously my fault um as well i just don't feel like i binge and i'm just starting to like see it more clearly now because like i don't think I've ever wanted to look further deeper into, hey, is this binging or is this just a food addiction? And make no mistakes, folks. The only reason she is saying this is because she wants to get this surgery. She doesn't, whether she has binge eating disorder or not, I don't know. Okay. I think she's a lazy fuck who eats more than she moves. In my, is That's what I think. Now, whether she has binge eating disorder or not it's 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 irrelevant it's not important because she's you know she's been telling her audience she does she doesn't believe this she don't give a shit what she's got she doesn't care she doesn't care why she does what she does she doesn't she doesn't want to work on the real issues because because listen people her real issues are not with food they are not with food it runs a lot deeper than that uh, and she ain't ever gonna really address all that because that is hard work and we all know and Berlin is not a fan of hard work you know if you if you really want to address something um like an addiction or you know any anything like that you have to find the root of it and where it comes from and what triggers it and it's not come from food food's clearly been a coping mechanism for whatever trauma she's had as a child which nobody you know denies but it, it but you know you, you can't spend your whole adult life going well i had childhood trauma i had childhood trauma because it just doesn't wash with, anymore you've had you, for years now you've had the time and the resources to do something about this and she's chosen to sit on a fat lazy ass and do absolutely nothing so I have I have like zero less than sympathy for this woman and I think she's vile and I think she knows exactly what she's doing and I think 
she is a massive manipulator and she's dangerous to be around she is dangerous to be around um i would not i would say anybody in her life needs to get the hell away from her because she will manipulate the fuck out of you trust trust and believe i never wanted to take the time to do that so it was always just so much easier i hate how this eyebrow is darker but it doesn't look like that in person but on camera it does uh, you know, I, I'm sorry for the quick pause again, but here we are talking about something like, you know, weight loss surgery and a binge eating and blah, blah. And then and then it's just like, snap. Oh, that eyebrow's darker than that eyebrow. <laughs> it's like, is it, like, it's <sighs> fucking, I swear to God, this woman. Um, It was just so much easier to just be like, yeah, I binge. It was like denial you know it's just a lot easier to say that instead of like no what's really going on you know i was just trying to fall onto something and by doing that i have um actively ruined my future so um i'm gonna do my eyeliner after i talk about it. <laughs> this is a good example that like you can't fall back on things if you want to get help you need to be very honest no you you, you don't want help if if you wanted real help and i and i i've got to be honest with you guys she's beyond help i mean she she has no capacity to self-reflect you have to self-reflect if you want to change it, it, it's not going to work otherwise you have to be able to look at yourself and and know when you fucked up and know when you've done things that you shouldn't have done this woman is never going to do that because real change is painful like you know i've i speak from experience i'm not just shouting my mouth off here i'm sure as i have many people dealt with trauma in their life and you know it, it it takes you a long time to actually realize you know what you're dealing with and where it comes from you know and, and that takes a lot of work and it hurts really getting to the core of an issue it hurts because you have to deal with things that you don't want to deal with her masking is food that's what she's done she's masked it with food she doesn't really want to deal with the real issues it, all this is a it, it may as well be like a plaster over a, over it. It, it it's irrelevant it's not going to work um she's too far gone this woman is too far gone in my opinion to ever change uh she need she'd need a massive reality check and i don't think anybody in her life has ever really given her that because people just kind of go along with what she says you know, like on like my six hundred pound life, when Doctor Now he he gives them a hard dose of reality, and they don't they just don't like it. Um, that's what she needs. She needs somebody to give her a massive dose of reality. Say, look, y y your tactics aren't going to work with me. Your manipulation's not going to work with me. The crying's not going to work with me, for me. You know, this is how it is. You either do it like this or you don't do it. Uh, and I think with Anne Boleyn, you have to be black and white with her. Because <laughs> if you have anything else, she will try and find a way around it to manipulate you. And it, it I said it before, it boils my blood. I don't like people like this. Um, and they waste resources as well. You know, all these fucking resources that she, she, she all this time, these professionals that she wastes thinking that she knows better or she can manipulate them and make them do what she wants it's uh it's insulting it really is with you know professionals but with yourself very very honest and i'm learning the hard way that living in delusional land and denial land gets you nowhere and it's easy to sit there and be like yeah i eat a large quantity of food and i feel guilty afterwards you know it sounds like binge eating but yeah but you didn't just say that though did you you said you've been diagnosed with it 
So what is it now? What is it today? Realistically, I eat a large quantity of food because that's how I've been since I was a child. I just eat large portions and I feel guilty afterwards because I don't like being fat. So it's like, I don't know, there's such like a, it's not black and white, but it's like this fine gray area and it's it not. just, it frustrates me because like weight loss surgery is just like continuously and constantly on my mind because I want it so bad. Yeah, it's on your mind because you think it's a quick fix. You think that it's an easy fix and you won't have to do anything. And, and that's the truth because you're lazy. And because somebody has said to you, no, no, you're not getting that. You need to prove yourself for a year. Now your little brain's going, right, well, what do I do? What do I do to get around this? Instead of just doing what they want you to do. And it's like, should I go to another program? Because a lot of people are telling me I should. And <laughs> it's like, I no, really they're not. trust in, you know, the people that I'm seeing now. But it is a very... This... So the people who, in the other video, she said were amazing. Folks, we are going to... Very soon now, she will have gone to see someone else. I'm telling you now. And this whole narrative will change. She'll have something else. This is a very big change in my life that I want, that I need. And it's to save my life. And right now, I just, like, I stay confused. <laughs> I just stay confused because misdiagnosing someone, it does happen. It's a common thing that happens, um, obviously. I just went through the whole lung debacle <laughs> where we thought it was one thing, the doctors thought it was one thing, turns out it was something else. And getting misdiagnosed is very common. Um, yeah, but, but you would have provided the information. You know, you go and see somebody, you're gonna tell them because she obviously wants these diagnoses we know she likes to have a diagnosis she collects them so you've gone in and you've told them what they want to hear and that's what you do you're a disgrace you're an absolute disgrace um my whole like i had uterine cancer and i'm sure everyone who watches knows that yeah we know and i went to the doctor for the symptoms that i was having i went to the er and I always left with the same diagnosis, a UTI. <laughs> and that was something that I went through for a couple years. It was always a UTI. And that's a complete misdiagnosis because it was cancer the whole time causing those symptoms. And, and ever since I had a hysterectomy, I've never had a single one of those symptoms again. And it's just... It's frustrating that being misdiagnosed is a thing and can happen, but it's also common because doctors, psychologists, psychiatrists, they are not robots <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, it's, it's a common thing that seems to happen to you over and over and over again. And you consistently undermine professionals and think you know best. So, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it seems like everything happens to Anne Boleyn. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm just back to rambling about weight loss surgery again. I swear that's not what these vlogs are gonna be. I just feel like I wanna express myself a little bit more, and right now I'm just like, I'm very mad at myself because I feel like I exaggerated my food issues because I was in such denial that I exaggerated my food issues when I first started seeing a psychologist because I thoroughly believed that I had binge eating and it's like the more I actually learn about D yeah so I, I mean she probably did she probably did because I think she goes through her whole life and just lies you know, when you when you lie so naturally and it's part of who you are, 
and it works and it you know and you get what you want there is no separation anymore between the truth and lies for her it, it's just all well i'll say that to get that and then if i need to get something else i'm going to go back and say that isn't what it was and again this woman wonders why her audience do not believe her and constantly question what she says this is a prime example amberlyn because you are a liar about it and the more i actually learn about myself i i don't i don't binge i don't binge and i know a lot of the haters are like you're just saying that so you can get a weight loss surgery mm -hmm. no, i'm saying that because i'm finally choosing me i'm finally wanting to be no you're not no you're not no you are saying that to get weight loss surgery only it's not worked and I'm sure if you try something else, another program, and it's it's beneficial to have binge eating disorder, I'm sure we'll hear the whole, well, do you know what, guys? I finally realised that I really do have binge eating disorder, and I was just being delusional again. You know, it, it's unbelievable, and you're just lying, and you look like a fucking idiot when you're doing it. I'm finally wanting to understand myself more and why I am the way I am. And it's like this whole time I've been so blind to that, like even towards the end of like seeing a psychologist, like there were several times where in my head I was like, there's no way that I have been eating. And this was before I even wanted weight loss surgery. No, no, it, it never happened. It never happened. Never happened. She was willing to grab any diagnosis she got because as I've said before, and as we all know, she loves a label absolutely loves it and it's like i'm just more aware now that i don't binge at all I overeat i overeat a lot yes i do because i have a bigger stomach uh, someone my size has a bigger stomach so i overeat and i obviously feel guilty about it like anyone who overeats who is at a higher weight is going to feel guilty about it that's point blank So there we have it, people. There we have another Amberlynn Reed manipulation video, which, you know, I'm sure has pissed people off. You know, I I can see it now. I can see what's going to happen. I can see the backlash she's going to get. And then I know exactly what's going to happen. Now, I'm just not sharing this with you anymore. This is affecting my mental health. Blah, 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 BS. Uh yeah uh, this one got me mad i'm not gonna lie i don't like uh people like this i don't um this is why professionals need to be really wary of people like this manipulative people um because she she's somewhere else and i've said it before she's a very toxic person to be around and i would not be around her at all um unbelievable it's, it's just i mean let's just uh i'm mean, i don't you know let's have a look at some of these comments yeah this is the consequence of ambulin diagnosing herself with every mental condition under the sun yeah yeah Yeah, this is the strangest thing they've ever heard. Yeah, so strange for doctors to belong surgery for patients who are not mentally and physically safe. Yeah, exactly. Every episode she changes her mind. Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, it, you know, again, exactly what, what we all think, what everybody who's got a brain and can think rationally can see exactly what is going on here. And uh, I guess this saga will continue when she tries to find someone another program which will accept her and i tell you if she does i hope she fucking fails she's got it all on herself because um no one is in no one knows other than Amberlynn. she knows everything she can she knows she knows more than psychologists she knows more than dietitians she knows more than surgeons she knows everything when in reality, 
figuratively speaking, she's a very small individual in a very bigger picture, and she's a speck, really, and uh, she's a nothing, an absolute nothing. So, you know, she knows zero. And the best thing she can do is uh, get some serious, commit to some serious, serious therapy. But I do believe it's too late for her. I think she's too far gone. I don't think she'll ever change. Um, until she changes this mindset that she has, nothing outside of that, the physical being, will change at all. And it doesn't matter what program she does, what diet she does. She's her own worst enemy. So, guys, again, thank you if you made it this far. Um, I did rage a lot on this one. It really pissed me off. Um, but yeah, really appreciate it if you if you watched it through. I'm gonna link uh, my other videos and Apathetic Facts vid video down below because she does the best, in my opinion, Amberlynn videos at the moment. Um, and she just she lays it all out for you about all the times she's told you she has binge eating, um, and now she's trying to tell you she doesn't, and she's trying to tell you she knew she didn't. So. Yeah, let's see what's uh, let's see what's next for the lovely Amblin. I might check out Chantel. Uh, it's the weekend now, so we've got a bit more time to to do these things. So I might try and get another video out today, uh, depending on what what's going down. But I hope you all have a great day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you later.